one, one thing about truth is that truth allows you to make mistakes. In fact, down, uh, down in the list somewhere, uh, where is it? The individual's knowledge of divine truth is eternally progressive. Right? In other words, you're going to always, this is on page three, top of page three. And related to that, personal truth is always eternally progressive. Now, if we have a feeling that, oh, I knew a truth today, today I had a huge realisation, and tomorrow my truth is totally different. This is going to happen to you all the time, right? Yes. And then you feel like now you've got to go back and correct all the times <laughs> when, when you didn't know the truth, right? And... And so what that creates, that is driven by a fear inside of you that you're not allowed to make mistakes. Every single one of you is allowed to make mistakes. Because guess what? You're not God. You're not God. You're allowed to make mistakes too, AJ. Yeah, I'm allowed to make mistakes. Right? And that's one of the things I had to come to terms with, is I'm allowed to make mistakes. And you have to come to terms with the fact you're allowed to make mistakes. And you're allowed to be in error today and in more truth tomorrow. And whatever happened error today was the result whatever happened to you today with the results of the law of compensation, the law of law of attraction, was already correcting you today. So that you could arrive at a new truth tomorrow. You understand? No, you, know, you don't have to go back and pay for it all now. But you will feel certain compulsions decided with a new truth. So, for instance, uh, all of you have heard of Luther, right? Yeah. right? The founder of the Lutheran religion. Mm -hmm. Luther, when he was on earth, told some truths, and he also taught people some untruths. Right? Now, when he passed into the spirit world, a lot of, by the way, a lot of the untruths were about women. He, he, was quite, um, he had quite some negative viewpoints about women. Do you realise this? No? A lot of people don't realise how negative it was. <laughs> and a lot of those truths had to be corrected, right, once he passed. What's an example of what he said? Oh, he said that uh, a woman's only good for the home um, and to satisfy the man, a man's sexual needs. And he believed that quite strongly. Yeah. So he had some very, um, very strong chauvinistic beliefs, shall we call them. He had some very strong racial prejudices as well. And um, he's now my, by the way, he's a spirit friend of mine in the celestial kingdom. He's in the, he's in the spheres above the eighth sphere. Now, what he had to do was come to terms with the fact that firstly he had taught large groups of people untruth. So, let's say you realise you've taught all of these people untruth, and then you come to a new knowledge of truth. What are you want to go, going to want to do? Yeah. Of course you want to correct that, don't you? So one of the things he feels he wanted to do was to correct some of the untruths. And he has been trying to do that through channeling and through other things. I'm confused. Did he know he was saying untruths at the time? Like well, no, he found was, At the time, that was his truth. That, at the mm. time, so was his then, truth. Because yeah. you've got me here as well with the, um, the personal truth is limited. Yes. So but then it's progressive. So is it limited today that it can progress tomorrow? Um, it's limited in the sense that it's never going to be God's. It's never going to be infinite. So, so your your truth is limited to what you can understand right at this moment. In that way, it's limited. It can expand, and it will always be eternally progressive, right? In the sense that it will grow and grow and grow and grow if you remain open to divine truth. Your limited personal truth will grow into a new state and then into a new state. But at any one point, it's not <coughs> infinite. It's always yeah, limited. Mould at, at this point, and what you said earlier, I have the, <coughs> an understanding that my personal truth can grow into being divine truth. Yes. In which then my personal truth, in conjunction with divine truth, can be infinite. No, it can't. It can't. No. Okay. Um, be aware that I'm saying that only God has divine <laughs> truth, and only God has the infinite divine truth. So in other words, every single tiny little detail of this universe is in God. That will never be in you. Oh, yeah. 
see. You follow me? Yeah. But you can grow to know more and more and more and more and more by of that. that by allowing that divine love to flow through you and therefore allowing the education to get be received by God. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But you will never be God in the sense that you, you can yeah, never know be. exactly what God knows. <clears throat> Does everyone understand what I'm saying with that? You will never know exactly what God knows, but you will eternally progress towards what God knows. And that's why, like, in the, like there's a verse in the Bible, in Ecclesiastes 3 of 11, saying, um, God has put eternal life into your heart so that you will never find out what the true God has done. In other words, you're going to seek for the rest of your existence truth, and you'll never find out its complete beauty. But every single new thing you find out is just going to emotionally overwhelm you. Right? And that's the beauty. Yeah, so you never reach the end. You never reach the end. So, but, but your truth will grow through that process. But at any one point, compared to the infinite divine truth available to you, it is still limited. You follow me? Yeah.